Hi, this is Matt Burns from the University of Missouri, and I have AJ with me again today. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to demonstrate something slightly different than we've done before. What's your name? AJ. And how old are you? Seven. Seven. What grade are you in? First grade. First grade. Okay, so this is an activity you can do for kids who are struggling readers in, you know, kindergarten, first, second grade, etc. Um, we're going to demonstrate how to do a phonemic awareness intervention using letters, even if the kid doesn't know the letters. Now, AJ knows the letters. That's okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to pretend he doesn't. So even if they don't, you can, you can do it as I'm about to show you. It's a simple Elkonin box. And I, except what I've done here is I, I don't have a whiteboard with me. And if, you're, if you don't have whiteboards, you can go to the dollar store and get cheap cookie sheets for a dollar. So we're gonna use a cookie sheet, Elkonin box, and um, just do an Elkonin box like you already would. But instead of having tokens, we're simply going to have the letter names. Or the letters, I'm sorry, the letters. I'm not gonna teach them letter names. I'm not gonna teach them letter sounds. We're just gonna slide the letters instead of the tokens. And at the end, I might review letter sounds with them. I think there's been lots of conversation on, on social media about, is it really phonemic awareness if you use letters? Well, it is, if you're trying to teach how to blend, segment, manipulate. And the National Reading Panel showed that it's more effective if you actually have letters involved. Now, the, many of the studies in the National Reading Panel report in 2000, they taught the letter sounds, et cetera. I'm not gonna do that, do that today. But even if you do this, this is more effective than just using tokens. Okay, you ready, AJ? Mm -hmm. Okay, sit up straight, please. Now, we're going to do this kind of different because ordinarily we'd have it like this, but you can't really see that, so we're going to do it this way. And AJ said that's okay. All right, you ready? Okay, look this way, please. Maybe skip a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. Let's get this for a little bit more. Okay, good. All right, ready? Sit up. Get the stretches out. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? We're going to work on saying some, some uh, sounds and making them words. Okay, so listen carefully. And mm. if you say it fast, what word do you hear? Can. And, can. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to practice it here. I'm going to do it first. So we're going to go. And. Mm. And for every sound I hear, I'm going to put it up there. Can. Can. Got it? You try. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you say the sounds, with can, put, put them up there. Mm -hmm. And what word? Can. Very good job. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's try can. this one. Okay, now we're going to say the word mm, and. Man. Okay, move it first. Move it. Mm. 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 What word? Man. Very good. Let's put these back down. And now let's do. Um, yeah, sure. We can do that one if you like. Okay, this is going to be. Don't say the word yet. Mm, at. Man. Slide them up. Slide, slide them up. Mm. What word? Mat. Very good. I also did that whenever we were going downstairs. And that let's do this one. Ready? Yes. Just don't say the word until you have to separate it, okay? At. Slide it up. Say it. Oh, oops, say it, please. Say it as you do it. This one. Uh, oh, no. Grab it. Yeah. Okay, put it right there. Good. Uh, let's try it again, okay? Good. Okay, let's try it again. Let's drop. Try it again. Uh, uh, Very good. Awesome job. Okay, the next one I probably would do after we do a few of those and he's got it down, is I would actually probably take some of the sounds we practiced today. And I might just simply go through those real quickly with them. So this is M. M says, mm, what sound? Mm. Mm. This is C. C says, what sound? <laughs> Very good. This is A. A says, what sound? <laughs> good. This is T. T says, T says T. what sound? <laughs> good. And this is B. B. Let me say it first. This is B. B says, B. what sound? Bah. Good. See, AJ already knows his letters and letter sounds. I'm trying to pretend that this is a kid who didn't. So that's how you could do a simple phonemic awareness of cone and box by just infusing letters. And at the end, I, I'm still going to teach some letter sounds. The focus is on manipulating or really blending and segmenting sounds, manipulating phonemes, not the letters. So this is a phonemic awareness instructional approach that just happens to use letters as part of your instructional material.